Okay, this is the Game and Sound 100 here with the video. And this video, I'm going to be talking about my rebuttal video I did a few months ago. Uh, let's get started. I did a video a few months ago in regarding the reason why WWE uh, needed to have John Cena be WWE champion once again. Um, I have a feeling that that option is going to maybe happen going in towards WrestleMania 30 next year. Um, as we uh, all know, John Cena is currently the WWE champion. The reason why they'll have John Cena be WWE champion is to put over the next person in the WWE over. Because the WWE knows that Cena's not getting any younger. He is currently 36 right now. Yeah, he's 36 years old right now. By the time next year's WrestleMania comes around, he'll be almost 37 years old. And uh, John Cena still has some years left in the tank. But uh, in, in recently, what's been happening in the WWE is that I've said in a video that Ryback was probably going to be the person to be the put over as being the next guy in the company. But... With that being said, that's not going to probably happen. The WWE has derailed Ryback so much that he's not going to be uh, going to be fitted into that role right now. That role is going to be for Daniel Bryan. I know all you guys will be very happy if Daniel Bryan be WWE champion. All right, this might be a this would be a good possibility. That this, let this happen at WrestleMania 30. Daniel Bryan is super over right now. Let him continue to build momentum over the next several months. <clears throat> then, when the super over with the fans, the WWE knows that Daniel Bryan could probably carry the ball of being the WWE champion. Because John Cena does need a break. We all know John Cena needs a break. He hasn't had a, he hasn't never had a break the only time that when he had a break was when he was injured. So John Cena does need a break from the WWE. And this is the logical time. The reason why John Cena is WWE champion for this purpose. I know you guys will be upset that John Cena keeps the title for a full year. But in the long run, it's good for business. Alright? It's good. Now, with that being said, they're already having it penciled in the rumor that they're going to have Daniel Bryan versus John Cena for the WWE title at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. The WWE can do something in that match that will have be a schmoz or whatever. It's not going, whatever is going to happen with Daniel Bryan and John Cena in the match. It will look like to keep both people strong. Then they go into SummerSlam. John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. SummerSlam. Have John Cena end up getting the win on Daniel Bryan. And at that time, I know the fans would be upset that Daniel Bryan didn't get the WWE title. But get this in the future of the WWE. You got to remember, the WWE is a business first. You got to make money in business. You have to make money. Money is the way in order to survive. Now, with that, John Cena, let him keep the title for a full year. This will bring up the credibility of the WWE Championship. And it's John Cena. Even though you guys will be upset, John Cena will be WWE Champion. But it's good for overall in the, in the long run. Now, see, this is what happened at the time. Back 30, 23 years ago? Yeah, 23 years ago. There was a person by the name of the Ultimate Warrior. All right. The Ultimate Warrior had so much momentum. The WWE thought at the time that the Ultimate Warrior was the guy to take the WWE into the Nets stratosphere. 
The WWE thought in 1989, The Ultimate Warrior was super over. Just like what Daniel Bryan is right now. Have the WWE do the same formula for WrestleMania 30. By the time the Royal Rumble comes, Daniel Bryan enters the Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan wins the Royal Rumble match. Going in towards WrestleMania 30. Getting a world title shot against the number one guy in the company, John Cena. And that only will make this match to be even better. Because I know all you, uh, all you uh, Smart Mark fans don't want John Cena to be WWE Champion for a full year. Just hear me out with this. You gotta. I'm thinking from this as a business, as business wise, this is good for business, for actual business. Just think about this: if they do the same scenario that they did with the Ultimate Warrior in 1990 by having him go into WrestleMania and defeat John Cena clean, because John Cena rarely loses clean whatsoever. And it was at that WrestleMania, at WrestleMania 6, the Ultimate Warrior did the impossible. He pinned Hogan clean in the middle of the ring. It was Hogan's first clean loss since he was the WWE Champion. He was the first person to beat Hulk Hogan clean in the middle of the ring. This will be a Good thing for Daniel Bryan if it's going to be Daniel Bryan going in towards this. Just think about this for a minute, all right? For business-wise, this will be good. You, as a challenger, Daniel Bryan, you go to the biggest event of the year, WrestleMania. You're in the main event of the biggest pay-per-view of the year. You challenge the number one guy in the company, and you win. Right back, not right back, <coughs> oh, my bad, not right back. Daniel Bryan could be launched at WrestleMania 30 and have Daniel Bryan uh, run the ball of being WWE champion, have him run the ball with the belt. The WWE can do the whole thing. That he's the one that defeated, finally defeated John Cena clean one, two, three in the middle of the ring. John Cena comes into the ring, hands over the WWE title to Daniel Bryan. They embrace, and John Cena, after he loses the title. He can finally take a needed rest that he needs. And let Daniel Bryan run the ball with the title. Let him, let him run it for a while as the WWE Champion and go that route. I know you guys will be upset that I have John Cena be WWE Champion for a full year. But for business-wise, with Daniel Bryan be super over right now, I would like to see this happen for Daniel Bryan. If this will happen for Daniel Bryan... Just what you think at the in New Orleans, in the Superdome, if this would happen, that Daniel Bryan cleans cleanly defeats John Cena at WrestleMania 30, because you got to realize John Cena at WrestleMania when he's entered as champion at WrestleMania, he never lost as champion. Hulk Hogan was champion at WrestleMania. He only lost one time at WrestleMania as champion. And that was to the Ultimate Warrior. Same thing do it for John Cena. Because John Cena, whenever he's in at WrestleMania, he, when he defended the title at WrestleMania, he's never lost in defending the title. Wouldn't that be special that he was the person that finally cleanly defeats John Cena in the middle of the ring at WrestleMania 30. 
anyways, uh, that is uh, what my view on this uh, thing with uh, Daniel Bryan. I know Daniel Bryan is super red hot right now. The WWE is is too uh, too be dumbfounded. They will capitalize on this. They should do this. This will be the right way to uh, put over the next guy to let him be the guy. Or have him be the guy and let John Cena, he can still be a face. He can still do the Make-A-Wish and all the stuff that he does. But he won't be there on a regular basis. Let Daniel Bryan have, let him try to try to run with the ball and see what happens. If Daniel Bryan doesn't, uh, doesn't pan out... Like this what happened back in 1990 with the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior didn't pan out as being a WWE champion. The WWE can do by even they can't even put have Cena get the belt back. Just like what the WWE did with Hulk Hogan. They can do that or they can give the title to someone else and let them be WWE champion. They could do that. But that is just my view on how things are currently looking right now. So there's a reason why for this. And this needs to happen at WrestleMania 30. I know you guys will be upset that John Cena will be WWE Champion for a full year. But like I said, this would make Daniel Bryan be more super over if this happens at that moment just think about that this is the game is on 100 i am out later